Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating uh, the Rutger row with just some random fungus. Now I have no idea what kind of fungus this is, it's just growing on some uh, strips of uh, four befores that I have in front of my home and near my flower beds. Um, I'm simply just going to take this here <laughs> back to my laboratory in my backyard and you can see here that uh, I've just basically crushed this up and uh, I'm not gonna like crush it into powder or anything I mean I might try to get as much as I can but uh, into dust but I don't think it's that necessary um, fungus works really well with the Rutiger row uh, it's something I've been doing for quite a while uh, first time I I think uh, used fungus as an accelerant or a catalyst if you want to call it that was last fall and they work really well um, chaga um, um, fomus, fomentarius uh, I mean heck I, I can't even tell you how many different fungus I've just randomly selected and uh, I mean even like Felinia species they all do really good they do really really good um, I'm going to be using cotton here guys once again as my base medium I always use cotton uh, I make a point to say that if it'll work with uh, cotton it'll work with any of the plant fibers that you've seen me using in the past uh, dog bane, nettle, milkweed, yucca any of those plants that I came up with back when uh, this, uh, this fungus here would work with them um, I wanted to say guys that uh, I haven't actually had the chance to do the videos that I wanted to do. I'm actually waiting on a camera and once I get my camera, I'm not really sure what kind, maybe you guys can uh, recommend a camera to me within a specific price range if you want to you know, discuss that or shoot me a private message. It's just I really don't know what to get. But uh, I mean right now I'm filming on this uh, cell phone right here and sometimes I film with my computer. but. Uh, um, here I am getting ready to roll guys and this won't take long you know this stuff works really well I mean pretty much any of them will uh, the fungi fungus whatever you want to call it here um, I couldn't tell uh, due to the light where I was sitting uh, in the immediate uh, if it were actually smoking and I can actually kind of see it smoking here on this uh, <laughs> uh, video but uh, couldn't really tell at first but it, it is it's an ember it takes me a while to realize that for some reason in this video now I'm just gonna feed it some oxygen here and guys back to uh, what I was saying though if you have any uh, suggestions or recommendations you know maybe shoot me a private message and maybe we can correspond that way on what kind of camera I should purchase because um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get a camera I, I've missed out on some good filming this summer but I'll be honest with you I've been outdoors so much I really <laughs> really haven't had time to film what I want to you know I didn't have a camera with me to film just this cell phone and it don't really hold any time whatsoever I even have to break these little short videos like this up to segments because uh, it just uh, it doesn't do well my my cell phone doesn't it's a cheap one it's a cricket well here I am uh, fanning some oxygen to the ember guys um, I wanted to take this moment guys to do a, a, a special shout out to uh, BTFU OJC over at uh, BTFU channel I will be including that in the description uh, his uh, his channel address and he's a pretty cool guy I was going to do an, uh, an addendum to this video but uh, I'm gonna be honest with you I didn't feel like it was my place because uh, OJC had given me a tip that you could use um, I think it was uh, shavings from a yucca stalk on the inside of cotton to do uh, the Rudiger row with and I was like wow <laughs> That's really cool. I hadn't heard that. So, you know, that's the reason why I haven't done it. But, uh, OJC came up with that. But check out his channel, guys. And like I said, I'll include the address to that in the link. Well, anyway, you guys have a good evening. And I'll see y'all later.